The Little Book of Common Sense Investing, The Only Way to Guarantee Your Fair Share of Stock Market Returns by John C. Bogle. Bogle, the founder of the Vanguard Group, has done more for the everyday investor than anyone else, driving down costs and making investing more accessible to more people than ever before. At the beginning of this book, he starts off by explaining that the stock market is a giant distraction to the business of investing. The fluctuations of the stock market cause investors to focus on the short-term, volatile movements and expectations of the market, rather than the more important, long-term gradual accumulation of the returns earned by the great businesses of the world. Bogle explains that rather than focusing on these short-term movements and individual companies, we should simply buy a portfolio of shares of every business in the United States and hold it forever so that we can benefit from the returns that corporations generate through their dividends and earnings growth. Where there are multiple solutions to solve a problem, it is usually the best approach to choose the simplest one. Therefore, the simplest approach to investing is to hold a broad-based, low-cost, total stock market index fund. Bogle created the world's first index fund in 1976, now known as the Vanguard 500 Index Fund. A $15,000 investment in this fund would be worth $913,340 in 2016. Buying and holding an index fund like this is how to become a winner in investing. Turning the winner's game into a loser's game. Investing is a zero-sum game. Investors, as a group, must earn the precise market return before costs of investing are deducted. When the fees associated with active fund managers and trading fees, etc., are deducted, It means majority of the investor's returns will fall below the average market returns. Bogle provides an example of the impact of investing costs and fees over a 50-year time period. An initial $10,000 investment, assuming an annual return of 7%, would grow to $294,600. If a 2% fee was added for active fund management charges or trading costs, this return would reduce to $114,700. The humble arithmetic of investing means that you get precisely what you don't pay for. Seemingly small investment costs can have a devastating impact on your investment returns over the long term. Therefore, focus on the lowest cost, broad-based index funds. The behaviour gap. The returns reported by mutual funds are rarely earned by their investors. This is because counterproductive investor emotions often lead investors to pour money into the most popular and best performing funds at the wrong time. This will usually mean that they are investing into the fund at the peak of the market. As the market drops, the fear will then lead them to withdraw their money when funds are underperforming. Investing in the latest new sector funds, such as tech funds or the hottest performing growth funds, rarely leads to successful investing outcomes. Index funds eliminate these tempting choices and help keep emotions in check. An investor is best served by ignoring the short-term noise of the market and investing for the long term in index funds and stay in the course. Many people think that it is easy to choose a good active fund that will outperform the market. This is not as easy as it sounds. Only two in 355 funds have delivered truly superior performance over the long term. That's less than 1%. Therefore, Bogle says, don't look for the needle in the haystack, just buy the haystack. Surely we could just look at what funds have previously performed well and invest in those ones. Bogle demonstrates that a number of studies have found that the best funds of today rarely remain the best funds, and for most of these, they will be the underperformers of tomorrow. Selecting funds based on their past performance does not work, and returns will generally revert to the mean over time. Bogle reiterates time and time again that the way to wealth is to utilise the magic of the long-term compounding growth of the stock market whilst avoiding the long-term compounding of costs. Follow a sensible investment programme designed with the long term in mind and stay the course and you'll be well on your way to securing your financial future. 